White House report takes aim at Bybit, and forgot about Deribit. The White House isn't doing any favors for derivatives traders by turning a blind eye to the biggest players in the space. Opinion on this piece of history Collect this article as an th White House released its annual economic report on March 20, and it dedicated an entire section to digital assets. The authors should be commended for doing so. I largely agree with the report's assessment that certain aspects of the digital asset ecosystem are causing problems for consumers, financial systems and the environment. However, as a builder in the digital asset space, I cannot disagree more with its conclusion that crypto assets currently do not offer widespread economic benefits. To understand how the White House plans to regulate digital assets, it's important to examine what was left out of the White House report. A particularly out-of-touch piece of data that made the report was a list titled, Top 10 Crypto Derivative Platforms by Open Interest. It included offshore exchanges including Binks, Deepcoin and BTCC Futures. While most digital asset proponents would agree with the report that these exchanges are not reputable by any means, and open interest is a metric that is trivially easy to manipulate, it's neither here nor there. The real issue is why the White House report chose to focus on offshore exchanges that have no checks and balances and aren't even open to United States-based users. What's more revealing is the fact that they choose follow the URL for the full article for more on this story. Visit the news article link.